Good morning everyone, welcome to Bratislava, Slovakia. This is my 33rd country. I think Connor's 28, so we're really excited to be here, but we are only here for 12 hours as we got here yesterday from Vienna. But you may notice a key figure was missing and it's because we've had a bit of an issue. Look at that. I went to get a haircut and they've absolutely destroyed my head. Look at that. So Slovakian haircuts did not go as well as the we ones have we have had. No. So Connor is feeling a little I, self-conscious I wish today. I could show you the um, picture that I showed the person because it looks nothing like this at all. Can we but, not include it? Yeah, ready? This is the picture that I showed the guy. And this is what we've got. And this is what I've got. The the line, depending on what angle you look at, isn't even straight. At least he's done my beard okay, which I'm grateful for. So I'm just going to wear a hat, but yeah. That's what we're working good. with today. Yeah, that's what I work with today. But anyway, welcome to Bratislava, Slovakia. Welcome to St. Martin's Cathedral. It's actually the biggest and the oldest in the city. And also back in the day, I'm not quite sure the year, but the Hungarian kings were actually crowned here. So there we are, interesting fact for me. But this place does have opening and closing times for tourists because it's still a fully functioning uh, cathedral. So, you know, people still go there for church. So I don't know when it's actually open. I think like it opens, minutes. yeah, literally in two minutes time. Yeah, so you can come and visit, but you have to pick your times, but the opening and closing times are there, but we'll show you anyway, just in case you want to come here. century and it stands with a great view over the Danube River and just the whole city of Bratislava. I think you can go inside but I'm not so sure whether we're going to do that or not. No I think you might have to pay as well. You're definitely going to have to pay. Yeah we will go look for you guys and we'll tell you how much it costs to go mm -hmm. in there but I don't think we're going to go. No because we've got lots to see today. Yeah and, and not a lot of time. No exactly. And this is the best view in itself. To our surprise, it was actually free. So we didn't have to pay, but there isn't too much to see. It's just a big courtyard. I think they do like exhibitions here on some days, but we've come at the wrong time because nothing's actually being showcased here. So it's literally just a massive courtyard with nothing, nothing much to see. No, no one's really doing anything, but it's nice nevertheless. We got a really nice view, so it was definitely worth it. So I recommend coming up here because it's free and you get an amazing view. Only problem is you have to walk up a lot of stairs.
around the East over by Slova. You can also see Hungary, but we have no idea where you can see it. But the facts that I've just read says you can see Hungary. <laughs> and we were recommended it by a couch surfing guy who unfortunately couldn't host us but recommended us a really good spot to come and eat. He said it was fairly reasonable in price and we have to agree with him. So Connor of course has gone with the traditional draft beer. I have no idea how you pronounce that. Yupina maybe, I have no idea. <laughs> but it was only one euro 50, one euro 90 I think. So definitely a lot cheaper than Austria prices <laughs> and we are loving it. But because we don't want to get shouted out and we obviously have to try traditional food here, we have gone with the traditional, I think it's a fried cheese. Of yeah, it's, it comes with fries and tartar sauce. It was under the Slovak dishes, okay? You cannot yell at us. <laughs> Let us find exactly what they called it on I here. think it was like eight euros yeah. as well. There we are. Phil fried, fried cheese. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the actual name for no, it, but... people get yeah. very offended. <laughs> so we're going to try that and see what it tastes like. Hopefully we like it because we've ordered two. Yeah. We're really counting on this to be good. And it was only seven euros each, so... Not bad at all. I can see why people um, that live in Austria just come over here to get... <laughs> anything. ...do all their shopping. Get anything besides their haircut. <laughs> Yeah, Connor is still very salty about that. Yeah, we were, we when we visited the church, I said a little prayer, hopefully to find to get my hairline back. Yeah. So priorities. Priorities, yeah. But for now, we're gonna wait for our food, Nostrave. Nostrave. We don't... still haven't learned cheers. <laughs> we're gonna pick it up. We're gonna ask the waitress when she comes back. Yeah, we will ask. But for now, we wait for our food. Look at it, in all of its beauty. We've never ever tried this dish before. So this is going to be a first for me and Olivia. Maybe it's like Saganaki. I don't know if you've ever had I've that. I've never had that either. It's a Greek dish. It's very similar to halloumi, I think. Ah, very halloumi. Okay. Well, do you want to play a quick game of rock, paper, scissors? Loser has to try it on camera. It's not going to be bad. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I'm rock, always paper, loser, scissors, but... shoot. Oh, yeah. okay. So I'm going to have to try it. I don't mind trying it. Though. Okay, go on, go on, go on. I'm down for that, I'm down for that. But that's the, the that's the first time. That's the first time Olivia's ever won, won. yeah. See the inside of that. Ooh, wow, wow. That looks very nice. I'm not the biggest cheese person, so no. if I like this, I'm going to be surprised, but I think I will. Love it. Honest opinions only on this channel. No, that's very good. Very good? Very, very nice. Yeah? Right, I need you to try it with this. Mm. Tartar sauce, because there's a. I, I'm guessing there's a reason they serve it with it, so... Maybe it complements it quite well. I don't know. I'm not the... Okay. I have put her on the spot. We don't like tartar sauce. Do you know what, though? That's one of those things where I've honestly never tried it. Mm -hmm. It's always on my plate, but I never, ever try yeah, it. Yeah, I never have tartar sauce. And that was quite nice. Yeah? Mm. Oh, my goodness. Let's go. Maybe this is a new new a taste new buds unlocked. Let's go, Livy. I'm glad. Yeah. I'm glad. I'm happy with that. So we're gonna dig into this. I'm gonna finish my beer, and yeah, ten out of ten from us, I guess. Oh, the sun's coming out. So our entire meal came to eighteen euros, and we really enjoyed the fried cheese. To be honest, it was it was one of really my favourite traditional dishes. Yeah, good little comfort food. But we actually learned that their way to say cheers in Slovak is Nostravie. So we'll just pretend we knew that. We, we knew that the that. whole time, but the waitress told us. Yeah. But we are in front of a very, very cool building. The Blue Church. How? I didn't even know what the word What we're thinking right now. How cool is this building? I've never seen anything like it. I don't even know what, why is it blue? Is there any actually explanation to why it's blue? I'm going to figure that out. Yeah, we'll have to quick, do a quick Google search, but for some reason, you can't actually go inside there until after 5.30 or something. I have no, no idea. It's closed and it says closed and it opens at 5.30. So I don't know if that's just Google Maps like bugging out or if that's an actual thing. I'm going to quickly see if it is open here, but you can see how big it actually is the closer I get. Oh no, the door is open. The door's open. Oh, okay. Ah, look at that. It says 
The church is closed. They've left the, is it actually closed though? Yeah, so the church is actually closed. Um, but that's the inside. There we go, for you guys to see. Let me zoom in as well. That's better. Here's the inside of the blue church. right in the background there's a big kind of ufo looking thing and you can go up there for i don't know if they charge you to go up there they probably do and you get one of the best views of the city now we've been to the castle so we got a really good view and we just don't see much point of them going up there is there no. we've really had a nice view plus we're having so much fun on our bulk scooters yeah it's actually one of the best ways i think to explore this city if you get one of these bolt ones just ride around the city you can have a lot of fun apart from the old town though because it's very bumpy bumpy yeah but other than that honestly i think that's one of the best things to do is grab yourself yeah. an e-scooter and just ride around so that's exactly what we're going to do and then we're going to grab some dinner and then see the day out but we've really enjoyed ourselves here haven't we yeah. honestly it's been really really nice definitely a blessing to come here look at that one beautiful right so let's start riding back into the city center so if you made it this far in the video, you can see my hair has fully grown back now. Thank God my prayers were answered. But we went back into the city centre later on after we rode our e-scooters everywhere, had some dinner and then everything was closed. <laughs> it closed really early. So we just went back to the hotel and chilled out. There was no point of recording it or anything because we literally did nothing. Just watched some TV and edited some YouTube videos. But you guys already know this is going to be the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Sorry it was a bit short, but didn't record a lot we kind of just wanted to chill throughout the day and that's the best we can do so thank you so much for watching please like subscribe turn plus notifications on and we'll see you in the next video see you guys later